basically the, um, the Quinn sessions we call them. They take place about five or six times a year, usually at this venue or local to here. Um, and it's an opportunity for the quality nominees within the delivery partners to, to come together. And it's their network really, it's, it's, it's for them, uh, which we facilitate. We run one round about every two months and what it's about is because our trainers work right across the sub-region and they're in diverse locations, Bridlington, Greensby, Scunthorpe, unlike in a college situation they don't have the opportunity to get together to look at their continuing professional development and training needs. So we run these quins every two months as an opportunity for them to network and hear about the latest developments around teaching and update their uh, continuing professional development. There's no one around at the moment who kind of coordinates these kind of networks for dispersed trainers such as that and I think what, where we bring the added value in is bringing that together, um, booking the trainers to come and deliver sessions such as the RAPA session that took place today and just generally coordinating that whole scheme and the bookings and so forth. It needs someone in the middle to pull it together and make it happen and that's where HLC comes into the, uh, into the equation. I think it's quite easy um, if you're delivering a couple of different training courses to get quite stuck in your ways and think right the way I do this is fantastic um, I'm never going to change anything but when you come to the HLC it's all about improving your training constantly it's, it's a constant thing that you're doing you're always over the year you know you've got to be um, looking at your quality improvement plan you know that you've got your self-assessment report to do at certain times of the year so you're always looking at the next thing that you need to be doing and that influences your training without you even thinking about it. It's actually been going on for a long, long time. We were probably running quality improvement networks back in the 1990s under the guise of the Trainers Forum. Certainly in the last two or three years, we've really kind of stepped up the ante to an extent with this. And we're now looking at um, a lot more in terms of the subject matter rather than it just being a broader networking event. It has a very specific reason behind it and almost a curriculum to some extent. There's a wider range of people coming along to the quality improvement net networks. We're trying to encourage more tutors to come along. The difficulty is the geographical spread. You know, we've got uh, delivery partners um, uh, south of the Humber, as far up as Bridlington, Withensea. To actually expect them to come to one uh, venue for uh, a meeting is, is quite difficult. But we have ways around that. We have um, a micro site. Uh, on our website which is for um, you know invited members only to to come in and actually access the resources and um, the presentations that have taken place as part of the Quinn are all there available learning materials resources there for them to access. We need to innovate and we need to continuously improve around the way that we deliver continuing professional development services for these geographically dispersed tutors that work through our delivery partners so we aren't resting on our laurels. You come along, um, you look at the PowerPoint slideshows, you get involved in the group exercises and you're learning without even realising it, So, which is a really clever way in which it's done and that again has made me think about my training and how I can go back and do that with other people so it, it's, yeah, it's really good. For me, I think it, it goes back to innovation. At the heart of this is the learner. We want the learning experience for those people out there in marginalised and disadvantaged communities in particular to get the best quality learning experience and that can only be done if the tutors, the people who are at the chalk face, are confident, well qualified and understand the needs of those learners. If that's what the Quinn can achieve, then fundamentally we are very, very happy with that outcome.